Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. And I talk about a lot of things. I talk about my family, I talk about my subscriber count, I talk about my views, and I also talk about a few um, local YouTube channels that I know of and I give them a shout out. So yeah, if you want to listen to me just like ramble because I'm all over the place when I'm getting ready, I did do this makeup look and um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And also subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's get started. I just washed my face like really, really good. And um, it just feels really dry. So I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Oh my God, my face feels dry, hold on. Oh, during winter I get so, so, so dry. I've also been noticing that my get ready with me's are like super dry, nobody wants to watch them. Like let me know what I can do, um, maybe throw in a story time. So today, my face like drank that up real quick. Wanted to talk about my subscribers. Where are you guys? On the sun, where are you? Hmm? It's really crazy, I mean I don't have like a huge, huge, huge following, um, but if you see my views nobody really likes to watch me and that's part of my fault because I've been in my A. Do you guys see how freaking much moisturizer I'm piling on? Pretty sure I'm gonna break out because I washed my face with clean and clear and that always seems to jack me up. Where are you guys? Where are my 8,000 subscribers? So I'm gonna go in for extra moisture and to prime my face using the Nivea Min Sensitive. Who who still uses this? Like, let me know if you guys jumped on when, who was it, Nikki Tutorials? She talked about this stuff and it has glycerin so it like helps your makeup last and it smells like a man. Um, I really like the smell. But yeah, I'm sorry, I'll probably be like all over the place. That's why I don't like to do story times. I don't like to do like chit chat get ready with me because um, my brain doesn't stay in one spot. My face. I'm gonna go get a facial pretty soon. Like, a real name. Where are you guys? Like, that's what I was thinking. I was telling my husband. He's like, oh, you know, you have like a pretty good following. Like, um, the thing is about YouTube is you really have to be consistent and you have to, um, just be consistent. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, guys. Hopefully, um, you guys wanna see vlogs and things like that so and I really don't know what look I'm gonna go for but I'm gonna go in trying like a few different things um this is the MAC strobe cream I used to use it a lot a lot and I'm so damn sorry that you guys have to hear my my dryer but I'm off of work right now and I have to wash clothes this mint's right underneath my room whatever I'm a mom Oh, I can also talk about my life. I'm a mother, as most of you know if you've been following me. I do have three kids. Um, one is my daughter, which she's 14. We're planning a whole quinceanera for her. Um, but that's what's going on. And then the other two um, belong to my husband. He came in a package of three, and they're amazing. They're, I have a five-year-old named Malia, she just turned five years old, and then I have an eight-year-old named JJ. Um, okay, let me move on because as if I do the chit-chat, I just keep on going. So I'm gonna be mixing Flower Beauty, um, probably some Wet n Wild if there's any left in here. Yeah, there's a little bit. So this is the Bronze Beige and one of these, I don't know. I'm gonna go in with Wet n Wild, it's pretty, Okay, color match. Maybe I'll just do this shade. Let's let's look at it real quick. Yeah, I come with a, a cute little package, um, or my husband did. And um, long story short, we combined our families, and now we're all of a sudden me and my daughter like just being alone, just us. We became a family of five and loving every second of it. If you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, like you probably see all the pictures we post and we're pretty, 
Yo family, I guess you can say. I feel like this color is gonna do really good, so we'll try it on its own. Look at me, kicking my face up. This is the new Equal Tools little sponge, so I'm gonna try it out. I like the color. Um, yeah, so. So yeah, I was wondering if I should start vlogging how it is to. I don't wanna. I don't know how to word it. I'm very like. I'm not sure. Let me know if you're in the same situation. I mean, I call them my kids because they're my kids. I've been helping raising them and we just got used to each other and they're just my kids because they're in my home and they're my kids. <laughs> and I've claimed them. And since the mother doesn't, yeah, I'm not gonna try to throw so much shade that way, but goddamn. Whew, I know how to vlog like raising someone else's kids, you know? Long story short is kids are kids, they like nothing is their fault and they deserve love and if they're like asking and looking for love then I'm gonna give it to them, you know? If they're there in my house and they're just basically my kids now. I want like a lot of people, you know, say that I'm, I don't know, they try to thank me and I'm just, I don't want to be like thanked for it just because I'm just doing what comes naturally, you know? Like, they're freaking kids and they're damn adorable. Like, we have the most beautiful children, so. Ooh, I forgot how beautiful this finish is. Like, right now I look real chunky, real weird. <laughs> the gym this morning felt good. Definitely was pissed off because somebody was on my machine that I like to use that I've recently been like doing some ab stuff on and it was just so busy and I couldn't get to it and had to get home okay. maybe I'll go later tonight um, I gotta work a little bit later and then my husband should be home so maybe I'll go when he gets home oh my god to the flower beauty just because it's like really dewy and it makes your skin look so natural but I think now that winter's coming like look at I like the matte look Next, since the foundation is kind of full coverage, I'm going to go in with like a light coverage concealer. This is the CoverGirl. CoverGirl Clean Matte Concealer. And I'm just going to go underneath the eyes. It's really hydrating. I love this because I'm super dry. Just like that. And I feel like I don't have too many dark circles. Like not right now. Anyways. And guys, I'm really thinking about getting um, lip fillers or Botox or I don't know, I don't know what you call it, lip injections, basically. Um, I know a lady that I did a video with her. Well, I didn't do a video, but um, it is my scam video. We took a, a brow microblading class together. We both got scammed, and we stayed friends. <laughs> and she, up in Cherry Creek, in the Cherry Creek area, she does lip injections. And I'm thinking of doing it. Botox also, like right here and right here, because I'm getting wrinkles. And thinking of doing it and then like taking you along and vlog. Yeah, but I'm getting like major wrinkle right here and it's freaking me out. Like I know I'm old, but come on. Can you just like wait a second? I'm not ready. I'm not ready, girl. Doesn't like um, Botox prolong the wrinkles, you know? Like it kind of diminishes it helps it not wrinkle so much and then lip injections I just feel like it would be so fun like I think my bottom lip is okay but then my top lip ooh, she's not there <laughs> eating on the Jeffree Star palette my husband ordered it for me like he was on his on his game and he freaking did not miss a chance like he was so frustrated when the when the um when the whole sight of Jeffree Star went, you know, went off, went, it crashed, he freaked out and he was stressing. But he was able to do it and we got a palette, so. I like how that. Probably use a little more coverage. I just said I didn't have dark circles, but I can kind of see something, something. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Maybelline Superstay. Blend it in. Okay, I'm gonna take the Cody Air Spun, same sponge. <clears throat> and I'm gonna 
bake underneath the eye pretty heavy because I don't know what look I want to go with. So that way we make a mess, we can just dust it off. Alright, so right now I'm very into cream contouring. This is Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. Just take a little bit. I'm running out, guys. Here. I'm just gonna run this down my nose. Oops, that was way too much. Oops. I wet my brush a little bit and I'm gonna start blending. Yeah, so you see how it just bronzes up your face really good. I like it. Just gives that. And then I go in with Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Where's Walnut. And I just put it on the high part. And on the tip of my nose. I just pretty much pat. Like a flick, like that, pat the flick. Next, just going into the Rimmel Transparent, Transparent? Trans, yeah, Transparent Powder. Just gonna set my whole face. All right, I guess just because I have this in my hand, this is Tequila 10 by Kylie, Kylie Cosmetics, whatever, Kylie Jenner. warm up the skin. I want something a little bit warmer. I'm going to go in with MAC Give Me Sun with this huge brush. I'm just going to... Yeah, I like how this bronzer doesn't, like it warms it up, but it's not too red. Ooh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I'm going to go in with the shade Tawny. do but that's okay bake for blush I really like this one in the fall this is the shade gingerly it's like a I don't know kind of is like a brown but it clearly has like peachy undertones to it it's so beautiful see so yeah, I'm just gonna take this one it's really really beautiful like this is the shade it's like when you want blush more of the color like this I really like that and then I also run my blush across my nose don't ask me why I just do I don't know I just do why I don't like doing get ready with me I you know what I have not been drinking water for crap okay so for highlighter I always use the same thing so I'm gonna be going into this sleek palette look at how dirty it is so many beautiful shades like I hate that this doesn't open all the way I almost just want to crack it but I think I'm gonna blend these two shades on the bottom look at, this. look at how pretty that is Jesus so I'm gonna take that champagne I'm just gonna dip into both of them kind of go like this Love it. I'm 
when I do my nose, I like to just go straight into my nose. Look at that, it's super shiny. Oops. He's always using Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And I just warm everything up on the back of my hand. Well, I'm not gonna fast forward. Um, I'm actually gonna tell you guys a quick little story. Um, the other so the other day me and my husband were asleep and all was fine it was like six in the morning and I woke up because I heard literally let me make the sound that I heard that is makeup falling <laughs> or I kind of tried to recreate it but um I heard all my makeup fall on the floor right and I was like what the hell you know when you're in that when you're sleeping so well but it wakes you up so you hear it and like right when I woke up um, I kind of look over here to my desk area on this side of the room and my makeup was on the floor and it was on my desk and we just looked we both like <laughs> he was asleep facing that way and I was facing the other way too and we heard it <laughs> and we both just like <laughs> like automatically look at each other and we were like what the fuck right and at this point you know how winter's here or whatever um it's still dark outside and so we both looked at each other so confused and i'm like hurry up like the whole time i'm looking over here in my makeup area and i couldn't really see because it was dark but you can kind of see like if you yeah you can kind of see and so i'm like hurry hurry like get up and turn on the light and he's like god there's probably a cat in here and so we don't ever the door is always locked there's no cats if we do accidentally lock a cat in here they cry right away like they are at the door trying to get out because they just hate being locked up like they their food and everything's over there so we for sure just thought like how was there a cat in here all night and he gets up turns on the light and as he's turning on the light it happens again it happens again and we just were like and i could see this like as i'm looking i'm watching the makeup spill on the floor guys no fucking lie like sorry i shouldn't cuss in my videos no lies yeah so i'm watching the makeup like finish falling on the floor and we just kind of laid there and just looked at each other and we're like what the fuck and i was like maybe the vent like threw some air or something and it like somehow pushed it but then also i thought about it like once yeah but twice no and this was um dia de los muertos um i know i'm not like i'm not catholic so i don't really believe in that tradition not that i don't believe it like you know like i just don't practice it it's not my religion and so um no shade like i don't i don't care like i respect every single religion but i don't celebrate it you know and yeah i mean we could see what the fuck i feel like i look up and somebody passes through the camera i'm just getting being paranoid at this point but um yeah so that happened and we just looked at each other and i wasn't scared like he was creeped out i was a little bit creeped out just because we saw it and in my head like i was just to make it okay i was like for sure the the air turned on or something and honestly at that point the air wasn't on like you can hear it right now it wasn't on and um yeah he kind of just rolled over and went back to bed and it was six in the morning and I stayed in bed till like eight just on my phone because at this point I just couldn't sleep anymore. Like once you wake me up, I can't get up again. I mean, I can't go back to sleep. And that's what happened. And I posted on Facebook and my sister commented that, you know, that that's today's that day, blah, blah, blah. And that it could have been loved ones visiting us, but that's like a whole other story. I don't know. How I feel about it didn't feel scared but a lot of things have been happening in this room like before it used to be very like 
I don't know, not seen. Like we would just hear things from the other room. But now as we're laying here, like things on he, that shelf right there is on his side of the bed too. And something will just completely fall off. Like somebody will get, something will get knocked over while we're laying here. Like while we, we lean against those pillows right there and we watch 90 Day Fiance or whatever the hell we watch. <laughs> and that's what happens. Things move and like his cap will just fall from the, from the closet, things like that. So I don't know. I don't really know what to believe or what to think but thought it would be a cool little story to share with you guys <laughs> look at my brows that's why i don't do makeup and talk so many things i feel like i could talk about but uh i don't even know anymore for some reason you know in your inbox um, from old videos, I keep getting people replying or commenting on a video that I posted, I think two years ago. And as of today, it has like 217,000 views. It blows my mind. And people are commenting so much sweet things. And I honestly like forgot about it. And people are like pouring their hearts out and sharing their stories as well on that video. And I haven't even replied, so I'm going to get on there later tonight. The other day I responded to like 50 comments and then I just kind of got tired because there's so many comments to go through and um, I just couldn't get to them but like dang it I feel like such a bad person for not responding like some of these people commented like two years ago and I never replied and they were like pouring their hearts, hearts out to me so that's what I plan on doing later um, but yeah just really want to get back into YouTube guys um, and I'm just wondering where my 8,000 followers are, you know? <laughs> but I get it. Like, there's channels that I'll follow and I fall in love with them. And then if they stop posting, like, you just kind of forget about them. And I know y'all forgot about me because of myself. I was just busy with life, with kids, with jobs. But now that I have, now that I work for myself, like, there's no excuses, you know? I should already be skinny because you guys have seen me fail and accomplish so many weight loss journeys and I should already have my life in check, but I don't. Go ahead and get started with the eyes because I feel like I am dragging this video on so long. Going in with my concealer to prime the lids. I know I mentioned to you guys that the CoverGirl concealer, the really light one, it's really nice for the lids, but honestly that's more for like when you're in a hurry or you have like a simple everyday look but this one is a lot thicker so I feel like it gives you such a better blank canvas look at that but I don't feel like I get all fancy with my eye looks anymore honestly like eyes is the last thing I work on when I'm like on an everyday look but I also have this one the tried by Juvia's Juvia's palette it's so, so pretty. Maybe we'll try something in this family. Kind of use like an orangey green. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to go in with Oromo. At first, I'm going to do a transition color. I'm going to go in with Mr. Diva. I'm just going to pop that into the crease. Move your little hair. But please, if you have any video ideas, um, let me know what you want to see. I really am stuck on what to film. Do you guys want to see more vlogs? Like, what do you want to see from me? I'd like greatly appreciate it if you guys actually... So I'm going to go in with this pretty color. This is the shade Ashanti. It's like a, a muddy green or yeah, I think like a muddy green, I want to say. Is that what you would call it? I'm gonna go a little bit lower. I'm gonna actually throw this color on the lid, but also blending it into the crease. Um, I know I will be filming a hair tutorial on how I color, um, no not color, how I curl my hair. Um, I also will be getting my lash extensions put in on Saturday. 
so let me know maybe we'll film that video for you guys um, the girl that does my lashes and I do her lashes she is Andrea I'm pretty sure I've mentioned her in my videos before she also has a YouTube channel so like if you guys would go to her channel I'm gonna link her down below and go subscribe she um, does amazing videos she's vlogging she has like the cutest little boy his name is Max and um, yeah she's vlogging now so and surprisingly enough she's my next door neighbor like she literally lives next door and she's my neighbor at work because we're both we do lashes and she's right there so figured I would give her a shout out um, she's really really great at lashes and I cannot wait to get mine done so I was gonna hold off uh, I was gonna hold off on them I told her um, I did her lashes the other day and I told her I was gonna wait to get mine done um, cuz I kind of I'm I'm in the mood to film videos and I know I'm gonna be getting in the Jeffrey um, the conspiracy palette and I just want to be able to pop on lashes but it's all right we'll figure it out um, yeah, I'm going a little bit more with that orange shade just to blend everything out and crease. But yeah, so go check her out. Let her know that I sent you. Like if you guys would just leave it in her comments. And then she also told me about, um, I don't really know this girl, Janelli. I don't know her too well. Um, look at me. This is like a shout out day. But I really love supporting small YouTube channels like myself, you know, like... I think we just support each other and share each other and it just it's just a good thing you know like I love watching people do what they love to do and to me YouTube is so exciting and so fun for me I've been doing it for a few years and it's exciting and I just I'm it's so cool when somebody else in your town is following that same path and it's fun and I'm excited for them and I'm just happy for people that do things that they actually want to do for themselves definitely go check out Andrea and then she told me about a girl Janelli. I know I know of her like I've seen her I think um, I want to say I've seen her around I know a girl that it's like through mutual friends is what I'm trying to say and um, and yeah she told me about it so I clicked on and they are like the cutest vlogs so go check them out they're very new they just started like last week and they're doing really great and it's called Diaz with us um, I will link it down below as well. So, also Andrea's sister Vanessa, she is doing Vanessa Montes. She's doing vlogs as well or um, beauty related videos. So go check her out as well. I didn't mean to leave her out. Um, yeah, she only has a few videos, but motivate them, guys. Like the more we help each other, that's that's just how you get out there. So figured the least I could do I mean yeah I like how this looks it's just like a very wearable makeup look but yeah anyway go check them out um, like I said tell them I sent you I would so appreciate it like if you could just do that for me and then I'm going to go in, I need a darker brown, so I'm going to go in with High Dude, um, just like a tiny bit, and I'm going to work it onto the outer corner, just to give it some dimension, you see? A little bit of dimension. But it's so funny, I tried to vlog at Walmart yesterday, and um, it's so hard vlogging in a tiny town, so it's not exciting unless I like leave town, but we got to make it exciting. We work with what we have, <laughs> and that's just how it is, so. Okay, then I need like a little shimmer in the middle of the lid, so I'm going to go in with this pretty color. This is Sh Shaga? Shiga? I don't know. This blue looks pretty, but I'm not a blue fan. So I'm just going to grab that on my finger and just pop it right like in the middle. Yeah, it's 
pretty. And for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in to this palette here and I'm gonna go into the light shade. I'm just gonna pop it in. Also gonna go into the pinkier shade as well. Battery's dying. Great. Okay, so I'm going to go in with liquid liner. This is the NYX matte. Whatever, whatever gonna do like a line you know what I didn't put no eyeshadow on my bottom lash line who am I just gonna go in with the same shades please don't die on me camera don't feel like getting up And I was gonna do more of like a glam look, but I realized that I do have to work later, so I had to make this get ready with me like a very wearable look for today, so hopefully you guys don't mind. But yeah, I don't know if you guys watch Peter Mon. He's like a... Um, channels that judge people <laughs> he's a gossip channel and he uh i can't think and do my makeup like my wrist talking about he made a really good point so like i'm excited about the jane dawson palette like i don't think a lot of people i don't know it depends like everybody it sold out so obviously people are into it long story short i got the palette i'm waiting for it to come in um and he made a good point. He said that what if Jeffree Star, like, because I was thinking that the packaging was very bulky and it is going to be heavy, but it's more like of a collector's, you know, palette. But he was like, he thinks it's just like a collector's item and that Jeffree Star is like basically the new Morphe or is going to be something like Morphe where Morphe collabs with a bunch of YouTubers or like influencers, you know? And he was saying that Shane was probably like, you know, they're seeing how it goes and there's going to be like so many more collaborations that go on with Jeffree Star and he's going to start his own brand because like the formula, everything, it's good, right? And he made a lot of sense. Like what if Jeffree's going to start doing so many more collabs with everybody, you know? That story was anticlimactic. I don't really watch Peter Mon anymore. I used to be obsessed. Like, I feel like I fall in love with all these YouTubers and then I kind of slowly just, I don't know, I just drift away because not that, not so much that I'm not interested anymore. Um, either I'm busy with life and then also I just forget. So yeah, that whole 8,000 followers, it's, um, I just gotta work at getting everybody back in, interested in my videos, and I only want them interested if they really are. Like, the number does not matter whatsoever. Don't ever worry about how many subscribers you have or anything like that, but, yeah, it's kind of my little goal to try to get back into this and, you know, pretty, pretty much just been failing at my own advice, so now it's up to me. To try to win y'all's little hearts. Ooh, I'm gonna do this one. This is in the shade um, Super Stay Globe Globetrotter. I don't even know. 